one of China's largest tech companies, Huawei Technologies, came out with its latest smartphone in the last week of August. Mate 60 Pro is being billed as China's answer to the US's iPhone. And experts believe, through this phone, China has also sent across a message to the West that sanctions can be counterproductive. And the devil, as they say, is in the details. It's not the phone, but a tiny part which has sent out shockwaves. At the heart of Mate 60 Pro is an advanced system-on-chip processor or 7 nanometer semiconductor chip. It has led to hushed concerns in the US. And it is believed that the chip was manufactured by Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp or SMIC, a partly Chinese government-owned semiconductor foundry company. This has been the most advanced chip that SMIC has ever produced. Previously, 14 nanometer was the most advanced chip that SMIC was able to manufacture. In October last year, US President Joe Biden had announced curbs on shipments of semiconductors used for artificial intelligence and chip-making tools. The Netherlands and Japan too joined the US. The aim was clear to make sure that China is not only deprived of the advanced chips, but also of the tools to make them. And in 2020, the US barred SMIC from acquiring the extreme ultraviolet lithography technology from Netherlands-based ASML, which is critical in manufacturing 7 nanometer chips. But despite all the odds, SMIC producing an advanced chip suggests that China has been making progress in building a domestic chip ecosystem. So, is China winning the chip war against the West? These sanctions will not have any impact on China. China will grow. China has already handled, uh, you know, created a complete capacity and, you know, capability internally to do much bigger things than what uh, people have all, ever thought of. As per, you know, any of the technology, whether it is artificial intelligence or uh, chip manufacturing, anything, they have invested quite a lot and they have been far ahead of many other countries, including the Western countries in the world. Okay. So sanction from Western world will not have any major impact on the growth of China. It will have a counter impact on Western world. Tech Insights Inc., a semiconductor information platform, had said in 2022 that to create 7 nanometer chips, SMIC might have been tweaking simpler ASML machines that were with them before the sanctions were imposed. But experts are suggesting that without the extreme ultraviolet lithography technology, only 50% of fewer chips will turn out to be usable. Today, the world's most advanced chips are made by a single company. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company or TSMC, which can produce 3 nanometer chips. And the machines for producing advanced chips are only made at Netherlands ASML. Japan contributes to the value chain by providing other basic items needed for manufacturing. And the US creates the software for designing the chips. Now, reports say that China is set to launch a new state-backed investment fund that aims to raise about $40 billion for its semiconductor sector. Previously, in 2014 and 2019 too, China invested huge funds targeting the two big chip manufacturing entities, SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor. But these investments didn't help China to disrupt the international semiconductor value chain. So, what's the current state of China's semiconductor ecosystem? All this news about 7 nanometer Korean chip from basically SMIC for Huawei, it may be true, but basically at this point of the time, my take on this thing is that even if they are able to manufacture 7 nanometer technology, this will not be very high yielding technology. They will have to do much more work to basically make it high yielding and commercially viable this, uh, technology, right? That's the fab side. There is basically another side, which is 
semiconductor equipment manufacturing like ASML manufactures semiconductor equipment. So there is this company, Shanghai SMEE, right? Uh, Shanghai Manufacturing Electronics. Uh, uh, I think they are also very close to basically developing the advanced uh, semiconductor manufacturing machinery. China, meanwhile, may not stop. And sometimes its timing can be perplexing too. The Huawei phone was released during the visit of the United States Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo. Her department was responsible for all the tech sanctions. In a similar move, China had unveiled its J-20 stealth fighter aircraft during the visit of US Secretary of Defense, Robert M. Gates. Caught off guard, the US may slap another set of sanctions on China. Shares in SMIC plunged on Thursday after two US congressmen called on the White House to further restrict export sales to the company. Clearly, China has found a way around US sanctions. Paul Triolo, technology policy lead at Washington-based business consulting firm Stonebridge Group, told Washington Post that the new phone was a major blow to all of Huawei's former technology suppliers, most of whom were US companies. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard